Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfatih. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Hani Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, praised Paris FC after achieving three points at the beginning of its campaign in the Second Division League against Grenoble. His Highness affirmed that this represents a positive start that reflects its ambitions to qualify to the First Division and affirmed support for the team's management. His Highness expressed pride in the kingdom's representation in the league with the phrase Bahrain victorious on its jersey in line with the economic vision of 2030. He said that this result will provide an incentive for players to continue to perform well in the coming period and wished all of luck in the coming game against Dunkirk. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Zayani, paid a visit to the Embassy of Pakistan to Bahrain to offer condolences on the demise of Pakistan's former president, Mamnoon Hussain. The former the foreign minister expressed to the ambassador of Pakistan to the kingdom, Mohammed Ayyub, the sincere condolences and sympathy of the kingdom, His Majesty the King, the government and people to the government and the people of Pakistan, recalling the merits of the late president and his great contributions to the service of his country and its brotherly people, and his unremitting efforts to promote Pakistan's regional and international standing. He also praised the late president's keenness and interest in developing friendly relations and close cooperation between the two countries and the two brotherly people, and his constant endeavor to advance the course of bilateral relations to broader levels in a manner that meets the common interest of both countries, wishing Pakistan and its brotherly people further progress and prosperity. The Minister of Labour and Social Development, Jamil Hamedan, hailed the kingdom's winning of four categories of the 12th edition of the Arab Youth Council for Integrated Development Award, which was held under the slogan, Enabling Arab Youth Towards Positive Movements. The minister stressed that this victory comes in information of the distinction of Bahraini youth and its ability to prove its presence and efficiency in many fields. Hamedan congratulated the winners, expressing thanks to the Arab Youth Council for Integrated Development and the Arab for their patronage and follow-up on youth movements in the Arab world. The Director General of the World Health Organization, the WHO, Dr. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, arrived in the Kingdom for a two-day official visit. The Minister of Health, Faiq Salah, was at the forefront to receive the WHO Director General, who will review Bahrain's remarkable experience in combating the coronavirus, which contributed to maintaining the health and safety of citizens and residents. The visit also includes the official opening of a WHO office in the Kingdom. The Director General of the WHO, Dr. Gabriel says, accompanied by WHO Regional Director for the Eastern Mediterranean, Dr. Ahmed Al Mandari, today visited Bahrain's vaccination and testing centers, where he was briefed on measures taken by the Kingdom to protect the health of citizens and residents. The Director General met some of the frontline health workers who have collectively managed to vaccinate nearly 70% of the population. He said that Bahrain has always been one of the pioneering countries in the COVID-19 global collaborative response and has implemented a comprehensive package of public health measures to control the transmission in the country from the very start before the first case was detected in the country. He also said that Bahrain's approach has been holistic, evaluating the social and economic impact of all health measures. Efforts have also been made to ensure full continuity of treatment for other health conditions. The Director General highlighted that Bahrain has managed to vaccinate more than one million people with two doses of the COVID-19 vaccine, ensuring that almost 70% of the population is now provided with an additional layer of protection against the virus, noting that the vaccines were provided free of charge regardless of citizenship status. He hailed Bahrain's approach, where it has been fully in line with the WHO's mandate for universal health coverage and the regional vision of health for all by all. A press conference will also take place tomorrow following the office opening, giving Dr. Gabriel says the chance to remark on his observations of Bahrain's vaccination success and the kingdom's efforts to diminish the impact of the virus. The Director General of the World Health Organization paid a visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain on the occasion of opening the WHO office in Bahrain tomorrow. Today, the Director General toured a number of places and was briefed about Bahrain's experience and measures in combating the coronavirus. More in this report with Mohamed Youssef. 
The Director General of the World Health Organization, Dr. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, paid a visit to Bahrain today, a day ahead of inaugurating the WHO office in the kingdom. The Director General went on a tour today around Bahrain and visited a number of hospitals and centers supervised by the National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus to see the precautionary and preventive measures taken by the kingdom in combating the virus. The visit aims to bolster the cooperation between the two sides in many fields, especially the medical field, in order to further develop the health sector. Uh, two reasons I'm, I'm here today or visiting Bahrain this time. One is to uh, inaugurate our uh, uh, office, WHO office, and we will do that tomorrow. And the other is I know there is a lot of good things happening in Bahrain, especially in the uh, uh, fight against uh, COVID. So wanted to have first-hand experience of what, what's happening here. I, I was very much uh, impressed actually to witness that uh, 20,000 people are tested every, every, every day. This is really big. Many countries, by the way, they say, oh, we have a lot of cases, so it's very difficult to do tracing. But in Bahrain, I think the tracing was, was done very well. One thing I have seen uh, during my visit, and which is very uh, important, is uh, uh, Bahrain is using innovative methods uh, you know, to increase testing. It's not coming without any uh, innovative idea. For instance, the testing increased because of the uh, drive-through. Because when you do the drive-through, one, you can do it fast. People can be served fast, rapid fashion. And second, you can test also uh, uh, more. Bahrain proved its capabilities and abilities in combating the pandemic and earned international recognition in this regard for its successful and effective methods in dealing with the pandemic and ensuring the health and safety of citizens and residents. Well, actually, we are um, very glad today that we are having uh, Dr. Tedros, the uh, Director General of WHO. And this recognition for Kingdom of Bahrain is something is an, an added value for us. I think within uh, this pandemic um, for COVID-19, it gives us a, a, an opportunity that we have to talk about our achievement and what was, what was done here in, in Kingdom of Bahrain. We know that we achieved, um, um, let us say, maybe the first on the world for testing. And we are one of the three uh, top of vaccination in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Not only that, that we had um, a very successful approach in dealing with high number of, of positive cases in the Kingdom. And we, we managed to, use, to reduce it with the whole team, and with the whole population of Bahrain with the, 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 the good actually awareness about them that we reduce it to about less than 100 and this is a great achievement. This give, give us more, let us say, uh, trusting from the population, from ourselves that we are on the, on the right track. This occasion proves the high status of the Kingdom of Bahrain on the international level and the advancement of the health sector. The visit of the Secretary General of the World Health Organization affirms the international recognition that the Kingdom of Bahrain receives and the constant development of the health sector. Reporting for Bahrain International, I am Mohamed Youssef. The Director General of the WHO, Dr. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyes, has toured a number of hospitals and vaccination centers today and expressed pleasure and admiration in the measures taken by the Kingdom of Bahrain in handling the coronavirus. So it's not without reason that Bahrain is testing a big number and tracing big number and also uh, taking care. It's because of the, um, uh, you know, the uh, innovative ideas they're using. Then the, the other part is, again, not only the drive-through, uh, this is also a very innovative idea. Where we are now is the exhibition. So in this, uh, this exhibition is repurposed, re exhibition center is repurposed into providing uh, service. As you know, on the other side is a medical center and this is the vaccination. Uh, and um, uh, when you repurpose the existing facilities you have, you can start service fast and also the investment you need is, 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 is less. The other important thing with regard to vaccination is 
um, the citizens and non-citizens have a choice to uh, to have a vaccine of this type or, or that type, which is which is very important again, uh, because people may have reasons to take this vaccine or that vaccine. So if they are selecting from a menu uh, that increases the accept acceptability of uh, vaccines. And that's why probably vaccine hesitancy is, is, is low. But in addition to that, starting from His Majesty and His Royal Highness, I think have been vaccinated, and that, that's also very good, um, you know, leadership uh, quality because uh, then the people can, can, can feel safe and, um, you know, use the opportunity they're getting. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Bahrain strongly condemns the terrorist Houthi militia's launch of a number of booby-trapped drones towards the southern region of Saudi Arabia in a cowardly blatant attack on the kingdom's sovereignty and stability, which endangers the security and safety of civilians. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs affirms that Bahrain stands shoulder to shoulder with Saudi Arabia against anything that targets its security and stability. The Ministry allows the efficiency and vigilance of the air defense forces of the coalition to support the legitimacy in Yemen, which were were able to intercept and destroy the aircraft, stressing the need for the international community to assume its responsibilities in condemning these vicious Houthi attacks that threaten regional security and stability. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,101,005 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,041,059 had taken the second, and 124,225 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 818 with 90 recoveries, 75 registered new cases and one death. 25 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 38 are contacts of active cases and 12 are travel related. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.